Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video. My name is Jamie and you're watching Film Empire. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the set matte effect in HitFilm to see what it can do and how it works. Let's go. So what even is a matte? A matte is an image which controls the transparency of another layer. The set matte effect allows you to choose which channels of the source layer to use for the transparency of the layer you've applied the effect to. Why would you use it instead of a mask? A mask can be tweaked to your liking quite a bit, such as a feathered edge or a rounded shape. But if you want to create more complicated shots, like the uneven fade from my previous unfolding text tutorial, a simple mask doesn't cut it. Nice. Here are some examples of complicated mats. I've used them in title designs here, but once you understand the effect, you can use it in all sorts of unexpected situations to help you out. Film Riot uses the principle of mats in Adobe After Effects, where the brightness of some lights in the footage controls the opacity of a rain asset. Let's dive into the settings of the effect. I've created a simple composite shot with a background and a text layer. Add the set matte effect to the text. The first thing we need to do is choose a source layer, which is where HitFilm will pull the information from. I'll create a new composite shot, add a black plane layer, and add the fractal noise effect of which I'll keyframe the seed. Now add this matte comp back into the shot we're working on. You can turn the visibility of this layer off. It's not necessary for the set matte effect to have this layer visible. Now I'll go back and set the source layer. Not much happens now since the default matte source is set to alpha. The matte source is what information from the source layer is used as transparency of your footage. When set to alpha, it takes the opacity of the source layer. The other options are red, green and blue, which are pretty self-explanatory. Luminance, which is how bright a pixel is. Hue, the color. Lightness, which is a human's visual perception of the previously mentioned luminance, and saturation. You can also set the matte source to full, which will disable the layer entirely, or set it to off, which will, well, turn the effect off. Then comes the blend setting. When adding just one instance of the set matte effect, setting the blend mode to subtract will do the trick. In my case, since I've set the matte source to luminance, the light parts of my source make the footage opaque and the dark parts get turned transparent. You can invert it with this convenient checkbox. If you want to go further, you can add multiple instances of the set matte effect and use the blend modes to create the desired effect as it basically blends the matte source layers together. For demonstration purposes, I'll create a new composite shot which is half black and half white and add it into the main comp. If I set the blend to subtract, you'll see that the white side is now completely transparent. Subtract is the mode I use most often, combined with the invert checkbox. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye bye.